Welcome back everyone to Hearts of Iron 4 in which we're playing the demo for the Ash mod. Right now, we're continuing with Divide at Impera. The spies have certainly proven their worth. It was rare that such a complete view of society was ever put together, much less written and made useful in war, but such a report was made and now sat on Ututse's desk, laying all the weakness of the intellectual republic here and bare. Almost every week, they are battered by raids from Delvango's troop of lunatics. Every month, they have a riot in Intog, and every year, they have to barter with Alan for the goods. Sondergren seems to be painfully aware of this, with many being sent to the outskirts of Asphalis to build fortifications to repel Delvanga. A plan immediately began forming in Ututset's head. He needs to overwhelm Alan and replace Delvanga as a nuisance that sucks away at Asphalis's strength. All while building his own strength. It shouldn't be that hard. As Phallus only has a force dedicated to holding out and not carrying out large invasions. Their school books won't serve them well in battle. And, uh... Ooh, this, where is... Ah! Mr. Handsome! Mr. Dude! He guess... He doesn't like the word R. Except he's R in his name. So he took out Badenburg? Bondenburg. Not Brandenburg. But... And they're gonna die. Goodbye. Yeah, well, I guess they're dead. Uh, artillery should have went out. Cool. Core New Lithuania. Awesome. Core the Baltic Mountains. Awesome. And against you guys, I don't know where to send you guys, so maybe go here. Gotenland? That'd be kind of cool. Cool. Awesome. Hope you guys are having a pretty good day. We do have a couple comments to go through as well, such as someone that didn't like it that I took talked bad about Lithuania. Of course, I, you know, we, d we talk about bad. We have to talk poorly of other nations on occasion just to make sure that everyone knows that we don't. Uh, favor any one nation too much except for America. Just saying. But, you know, Lithuania, they're fine. But, you know, with this campaign, we gotta do what we gotta do. And we just finished intensive cultivation. Mm, sure, why not? Industrialized agriculture? Sounds like a good idea. And currently we're doing their war their warfare too refined. Which is down here. Which we get, we go to war on Badenberg, so goodbye, Delvanga. We'll probably do the communists too stupid. Next, we get a very peculiar number of 3268 manpower, which is... A little odd, but okay. Night vision? Okay, two things. If a tree, not very boy, no, but... Oh, well. Iron spear. Well, let's do some leather armor, I guess. We could probably use that, maybe? So, we'll see what happens. The communist too stupid. Which, there's... I don't know what they're trying to say. Are they saying theirs, as in, like, they are communists, they're too stupid? Or there's communist? There's communist a noun and... Hmm. But interwar fighters? Uh, let's grab some cast. Why not? Nothing like developing fighters in 1944. Cool. Mm, share the wealth. War rap. Okay. War raptors, really. Um, let's duplicate these guys. Raptors. Can we actually do this? That'd be so cool. Do we actually make the, the division? Just in case. Double, always, always double check. How many dinosaurs do we have? We have war elephants. Oh, we got. War let's get some war elephants. It actually slightly lowers our organization. Oopsie, this one. Look at that, that's beautiful. You lose 10 organization. You slow down just a little bit, not too much. So faster than infantry. Get more soft attack, get more heart attack, get more defense, get a lot more breakthrough. That's nice. We need way more war elephants. It's fine with us. Heck yeah. And you know what we're going to throw in the elephants? Artillery. That's way you get even more soft attack. Nice. I want to use those before we, uh, well, I guess the raptors. Uh, Ellie's. Ellie's. There you go. Yay. So no more of this. Yay. Cool. Let's go too. We need a little more artillery, which is fine, but whatever. That's totally okay, and as we do have vaporizer rifles. Now, I wonder who we're going to go to war with next. I, mean, hope, I, I just want to beat the crap out of Latvia. Lithuania, of course, like I said in the last episode, but especially Latvia right now. Oh, that is... Ooh, that is not good. Uh, where is that tile? That is uh, pretty bad, not gonna lie. That's pretty darn bad. Well, that's the case. I'll send you somewhere else, like here. There you go. I don't want to lose too much to attrition, so. Uh, Peter, anything here? No? Okay. The communist, too stupid. Followed up with what? Their science too incomprehensible. They get a whole ten more command power. That is super useful. Super super useful. Cool. I'll come and say. Um, I apparently pronounced the wrong word of D I E V A S. Devas. Divas. Divas. I no idea. 
It is what it is. Oh, and we can core Bandenberg, Finnish coast, and Ellen. I don't know how to pronounce that either, as you can probably tell. So, um, Tanzanium. How much more of it we have? We have 197. Well, I guess water, Tanzanium. Actually, quite a bit of that. 65, 202, 30 ish, maybe? It's kind of hard to tell. But, death to Asphalus. Where's that? Oh, it's up here. Okay. Uh, go and stop training you guys over here, anyway. So, there you go. And is this already a core? Beautiful. Yep. And uh, go do that, too. We're going to need to build a lot of civvies oh, and a lot of infrastructure. After this one, the sea is secured. KLV, the sea is secured desk. Beautiful. Another comment was, uh, someone would like to know about the context of the mod. Well, this mod, um, uh, the, if you want to read, read about it, I can better explain it. Oh, actually, the mod description from the Steam page can explain it better than I can. Because words are hard. So all I know, like I said in the last video, we had World War One. We found alien tech. Everyone killed each other, especially the Germans in Western Europe. Especially I Iberia. So... But it, the link to the mod is in should be the first link in the description below. So if you really want to read it, you can go right ahead and do so. Uh, gotta love alien tech. Two full armies already. Nice. And let's see, you secured. And then bring the Jap Japanese. We get Kanto, like the Kanto region, like is in actual Japan and Pokemon. Um, the sea is ours, and so we finally managed it. <clears throat> Once a pitiful band of bandits west of Estonia, and we have risen to become a major empire, one to rival the Poles, Machnovians, and the Tengri's Empire. We have defied all expectations, with Tada backing us. We have melted the Iron Men, shown the Republic the error of their ways, and we have taken out of the terrorists. And we have broken the be beakers of the faux intellectuals, and now we control all the Baltic Sea with no one to contest us, except for Vipuri. However, there is so little time. The end times must be rigged, or triggered, or they will be triggered painfully. We have until the year 2208 by the Christian metric to conquer the world, and or the world will be caught in an inferno as the forces of nature tear it apart once more. The clock is ticking. It's 1944. We've got, we've got some time. The Rise of Sumata. The warmongering of the German Empire has come back to haunt it, perhaps in its most terrifying form. Ravavinum Kustas Utese has declared that all the Baltic Sea is under his rule and that soon all the Earth shall be in preparation for the final apocalypse in the year 2208. Otutse has led a government consisting of former bandits, village elders, and shamans out of the Baltic Sea and some surrounding territories for a while, practicing a form of Estonian neo-paganism called Turask. The claim to seek revenge on Christianity, and more specifically the German knights and their descendants who conquered Estonia in the 13th century. Man, that's one heck of a way to hold a grudge. And some more text, text, text that we can't see, but something about ferocity and religious fundamentalism. Do we have a little thing we can play here for music? Hmm. Siru Ma. Siru Ma, huh? S I R U R U M A. Cool. All right. I'm not hearing too much, so I can keep going on. And we'll see what the rest of this focus tree has in store for us. Drugs? Wow, wow that's, that's pretty fast. We go from. Industrial is agriculture straight to pharmaceuticals. That is... That's fast. Oh, Mikhail. Hello, Mikhail. Oh, can I beat up some more Finns? That's what we like to do in Estonia, right? Or something like that? I don't know. Court Intag. Court Asphalus. Yes, thank you. More infrastructure, please. Loads of infrastructure, but get more civvies first. And, um... Kanto is all the way over here, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm not really sure what we can do about that. Okay, then. Well, that's nice. Metal armor. We are getting drugs done, so... Armored elephants. Yeah, let's go and do that one, too. Alright. I'm not really sure we're supposed to do anything with the Japanese. Uh... Do we even actually have technical sea access? I mean, the Baltic Sea, but... Siruma? No, we don't even touch the ocean, so... Yeah. Alright. We need a lot of leather armor. Wow. But, uh, bring the Arabians to heal. Claim said 911. What's the emergency? I don't know where the 911 is. Golden's... Golden's in Mexico, huh? 
Okay, so why do we get claims on Kanto and... Was this... Is this Mecha? Or... No, Jeda. Oh, well, okay then. Very weird, but okay. We can bring the Ravens to heal and all shall heal. Epilogue, Siruma. Alright. Sure, why not? Why not? I like the Pokemon, why not? And we do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm, even though I don't know how much longer this... this it's really going to last, so... We actually should have done armor. Why do we have such a massive deficit of armor? Division reinforcement. How much armor do you guys need? 2,000? I guess it makes sense, but... It doesn't ever seem to be getting better, so... I really want to use these world fence. Okay, so epilogue. <clears throat> many empires have risen and fallen throughout the centuries. Many people have earned their fame over their infamy. The scars of many wars have fueled in cities, but not within the minds of veterans nor their sons. Seruma has conquered the Baltic Sea for itself. The United Baltic Duchy, Asphalus, the Finns, and FLI couldn't stop it. Otutse went into the future, fully expecting to finally put an end to Vanapagan, uh, Vanapagan and restore the natural beauty of the Earth. Seruma's first conquest was Scandinavia. The legions of Tar rolled over, speed and was relative to the ease, but it was Norway that proved to be the troublesome. And the mountains near inner Norway, the pagans of Hedmok want to convince and sack the supply lands in Otutse's latest conquest, making him rely on the surviving merchants of Vestlandet. Who died at the coast. For years, abandoned not at his stranglehold until the arm of Siruma fell off and the Norwegians began to terrorize Siruma. For decades, even after Ututse's death, Norwegians and Cerulians fought in Sweden, taking turns raiding each other. By the year 1964, Siruma collapsed and it was swept into the dustbin of history. 64. Centuries later, bandits could still be heard praying to Therva before combat, telling tales of Teru upon victory and cursing Wama Fasan upon defeat. In the whirlwind of the global collapse of statelets that transpired during the later half of the 20th century, Saruma wasn't forgotten, only mis misremembered. When literacy returned, the runes on stone tablets told tales of greedy kings of the seas and ambitious king of the forest, banished to a cave beneath the ocean as a punishment from the king of smoke. History has shown there are no invincible armies. No army can withstand all the pressure of the world pushing against it, nor the intrigue with them. Yet the soldier fights. He fights for a better future. He believes the enemy soldier to be evil, but so does the enemy soldier believe he is evil, and so does the enemy believe in a better future. So we go on. From the hearts of iron, Ash team, thank you for fully playing the content of Saruma. No content is planned beyond this point. So that's it. Oh, that's actually really nice and short. I, got, I knew this was going to be short. I want to use these elephants, though. So, um, uh, let's go in. Actually, do you guys actually, uh, well, maybe not then. Uh, Viborg? Ekstrom? I don't know how many divisions they have. Let's just do this. Do you have any divisions? Please tell me your divisions. I want to kill you guys with elephants. Ah, we made these war elephants for nothing then. Ah. Well then, we can't even record that probably, right? Oh, an abandoned radio station. What is this? The depth of the cosmos will envelop us and the earth alike, leaving behind only a memory and those who enveloped it. Deep in the hidden in the forest of Sweden, there is a radio station. Locals have no recollection of it, and no books or records detail it when it was constructed or what it broadcast, if anything. It towers over villages and takes with high-tech equipment, and we've been given the coordinates. Do we dare? The depth of the cosmos will envelop us and the earth alike, leaving behind only a memory in these those who enveloped it. Play Ash in Alien Invader. Uh, what is this? Oh, I'll give it a two weeks then. And we're still building up this stuff, scavenging stuff. That's nice. Armor time? Well, this is wait and see. Oh, let's this one first. There we go. Cool. Oh, it's lagging extremely hard. Oh! Um. Oh. Um. Why do? Well, I guess we still have Chicago, and then they're taken out, and then these people invaded Texas. Okay, so if you wonder about that, the war of the worlds, please go right ahead for all humanity. But I guess, um, that's going to be it for us. They're probably extremely strong, but. Oh, there goes Brisbane. Wait. Do they have another one down? Oh, look at that. Mexico actually united. Golden State of Mexico. That's kind of cool. Oh. Oh, look at Australia. We didn't look at these guys yet. New Zealand's pretty good, but... Brisbane. Oh, it's Darwin up there. Oh, so all these islands are kind of dead. The Qing China? Oh, Qing China united. And Pu Yi. He finally became ruler. Um, well, with that in mind, I... Oh, well, hold on. Spain is still... Spain still exists! Whoa! Casablanca and Portugal? Scavengers go missing, but... I guess that's going to be us for today. I guess that's going to be it for the campaign. There's not really much else here. 
So, yeah, if you enjoyed the campaign, do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. We have a Central American Fruit Union, very cool, and I guess I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching, have a great, great, great rest of your day.